All right, so in this example, I want to start talking about the null space. So let's do the definition real quick, and then we'll, we'll go through a quick example. They're not too bad to, to do. So we're going to let A be an M by N matrix. The null space is a set of solutions to the homogeneous system A multiplied by X equals 0. So another way of saying this is that the null space of A, it's the set of vectors in R, sub R of N so that A multiplied by X equals 0. So let's look at a quick example. Suppose we've got this, this system x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus uh, um, 0x4 equals 0, 2x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 equals 0. Let's find the null space. So here if we look at our matrix A, the matrix A we just take the coefficients on, our, on each of our variables. So we have 1x1, 1x2, 1x3, and 0x4. We have 2x1, 1x2, 0x3, and 1x4. So what we want to do is we want to find the null space of that matrix A. We want to figure out the form of, of the vectors so that when we substitute them in and do the arithmetic, we get 0 out in both of our equations here. So to do this, we, we just use some row reduction. So, okay, so we've got our, our matrix here, 1, 1, 1, 0. We'll put our zeros on the side here. And then the coefficients, 2, 1, 0, 1. So just a little bit of row reduction here to, to get our solution. So the first thing that we're going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is take negative 2 times row 1 and add that to row 2 to get my new row 2. So if we do that, we'll leave the first row alone. So we have 1, 1, 1, 0, and then another 0. So if we take negative 2 multiplied by row 1 and add it to row 2, so let's see, negative 2 multiplied by 1 is negative 2, plus 2 is going to give us 0. Let's see, we'll have negative 2 plus 1, which is going to be negative 1. We'll have negative 2 multiplied by 1 plus 0, which is going to be negative 2. And then negative 2 multiplied by 0 plus 1 is 1. And then for our last entry, we'll just get 0 because negative 2 times 0 plus 0 is going to be 0. Okay, so now I've got a, a, a 1 in my you know, top left. I want to get a 1 here in my, my second row, second column. So, okay, so you could, you could do a couple different things here. Um, I'm just going to multiply the second row by, I'm going to do two, actually, I'm going to do one other thing first. I'm going to take the second row and add it to the first row to get my new first row. Let's see. So if we do that, so I'm just adding the entries. So again, we're leaving the second row alone, so I'm just going to go ahead and write that one down, just so I know not to even bother it. So now if we just add row 1 and row 2, so 0 plus 1 will be 1, negative 1 plus 1 will be 0, um, negative 2 plus 1 will be negative 1, 1 plus 0 will be 1, and 0 plus 0 is 0. You could even really stop at this point. I'm going to do one last step, which is just take row 2 and multiply that by negative 1 to get my new row 2. So if we do that, We've got 1, 0, negative 1, 1, leaving the first row alone. The second one, 0, 1, 2, negative 1, 0. So, okay, so now we've got this reduced echelon form. If we rewrite it as a system of equations, notice we would have 1x1. We have 0x2, so I'm not going to write it down. We've got minus x3 plus 1x4 equals 0. We have 0x1s. We have 1x2 plus 2x3 minus x4 equals 0. So we've got a couple free variables here. If I solve the first equation for x1, uh, we would just add x3 and subtract x4. So we have that x sub 1 equals x3 minus x4. And the same thing, the second equation, I'm just going to solve for x2. So let's see, we could subtract, we would have negative 2x3 plus x4. So again, all we're doing at this point is just, all we've done is just row reduction. That's all you do to find, to find the null space. 
So let's see. If we let x3, I'm going to say that has the value alpha, and x4, that has the value beta. We've now found the form of our, of our vectors that get mapped to the null space, that comprise the null space, I should say. Okay, so x1, we said that's going to be x3 minus x4. So x3 and x4 are alpha and beta, so we would have alpha minus beta. x2, that's going to be negative 2 times x3, which we said is going to have... Uh, is going to be alpha plus x4, which is beta. I should say here again, alpha and beta, those are just scalars. Those are just some real number. And then we said x3 is going to be alpha, x4 is going to be beta. We could rewrite this one more time if we want to. We could bust this up. We could break this up. We could write this. We could factor the alpha out. And then we would have 1, negative 2, 1, 0, plus beta. I'm just breaking it up into two separate vectors. Beta, we've got negative 1, positive 1, 0, and 1. Vectors of this form are now going to be the vectors that uh, make up the null space. So vectors of this form make up the null space. And that's it. And what you could do, you could now pick your favorite two numbers. You know, you could pick a number for alpha and a number for beta. So, so for example, notice, let's just look at one, one little example. So suppose, um, <clears throat> let's just make alpha equal to 1 and let's make beta equal to 1 as well, just to make the arithmetic easy. So if we did that, we would have a vector that looks like, so let's see, so alpha is 1, beta is 1, so 1 plus negative 1 would be 0, let's see, negative 2 plus 1 would be negative 1, 1 plus 0 would be 1, 0 plus 1 would be 1. So I claim if you substitute in the value x sub 1 equals 0, x sub 2 equals negative 1, x sub 3 equals positive 1, and then x of 4 also equals positive 1. If you plug those back into that original system that we started with, if you plug it back into that original system that we started with, if you substitute in those values for x1, x2, x3, and x4, you will get 0 in the first equation, and you will also get 0 in the second equation. So. Um, Obviously, there's infinitely many vectors because you can pick whatever two numbers you want for alpha and beta. But this is the idea of the null space. What vectors can we, can we, can we substitute into the original system of equation, equations so that we get zero out at the end? So which vectors get mapped over to zero? That's the idea of the null space. And again, to get it, you're just doing a little bit of row reduction.